This has been talk of the sports world since January. Which NFL team will former Oregon Duck and Heisman Trophy winner Marcus Mariota join? We're about an hour away from finding out. The NFL draft gets underway at 5 o'clock. KGW's Mark Hanrahan is at a draft watch party at the Boys and Girls Club of Emerald Valley. You might be wondering why. Well, Mark, that is where Mariota volunteered. That's right, Reggie. We're standing in the room where that watch party will get underway in just about a half hour or so from now. Kids are in the other room eating a snack right now. The watch party, the draft rather, will be up on that screen right here. And I can tell you, just spending the little time we have here today, that kids and staff here really care about Marcus Mariotto beyond just as the football player. So when the draft gets underway, they'll all be huddled in front of this TV screen here to see where their friend Marcus goes next. Mariotto volunteered his time here starting in 2012. When we heard the backstory began why he started here. The CEO told us when Chip Kelly was the head coach at Oregon, he was looking for a way to bring Mariota out of his shell since he's kind of a quiet kid. So he would be more comfortable doing things like media interviews. So he thought it would be a good idea for Mariota to come here, start talking with kids. Well, Mariota liked it so much he made it part of his routine, coming here almost every week to meet and mentor kids or just be a good role model for them. It's, it's really awesome to hear those stories because that character is what we want our children to display that come through the doors. And so... Uh, you have a lot, of, a lot of athletes who aren't always role models, but to have somebody like this who can cast such a great shadow and such a big shadow, that's amazing. One more quick story just about how highly regarded Mario Oda is here. I heard from the CEO that after the national championship game when Oregon unfortunately lost to Ohio State, the kids here were more concerned with Mario Oda's hurt shoulder than they were about the Ducks actually losing the game. So pretty cool to hear. We'll stay here, bring you an update at 5. For now, though, guys, back to you. Watch the draft with some of Mariota's smallest fans at the Boys and Girls Club of Emerald Valley in Eugene. And, Mark, that's because that's where Mariota volunteered almost every week. That's exactly right. Since 2012, take a look behind me. Here is the room here at the Boys and Girls Club in Eugene, packed with kids, about 80 or so, all of them glued to the TV screen behind them, watching the draft to see where Mariota will go. Because for many of them, Mariota was more of a friend than a sports idol. While at Oregon, Marcus basically did everything except win the national title. In his final season as a duck, he won the Heisman, led the team to a 13-2 record, a Pac-12 championship, and the national title game against Ohio State. But it's what he did off the field that makes him so popular popular with the crowd here. This is a live look at Mariota watching the draft from his home state of Hawaii. Mariota started volunteering with the Boys and Girls Club in Eugene before he was even a starter. The story we got today is that Chip Kelly, when he was the head coach at Oregon, was looking for a way to bring Mariota out of his shell. So he urged him to come here and start mentoring kids, which is exactly what he did. And we're told that Mariota liked it so much, he came back again and again. In fact, nearly every week for about two years. Back here live in the draft watch party. Again, about 80 kids, many of them that Mariota mentored himself. They're all glued to the screen here. The draft just getting underway. So we're going to hang out here, see what happens. The draft gets some reaction here. But guys, these folks are excited. Back to you. I'm sure, as are a lot of people. Mark, thanks very much. We have a biggest fans at the Boys and Girls Club in Eugene. Mark, I imagine they were excited. Tracy, excited might be an understatement. Many of those kids are, are here in the room tonight. Many have cleared out. They continue to watch the draft behind us. But many of the kids here told us they consider Mariota to be one of their friends because of all the time he spent here at the Boys and Girls Club, volunteering and mentoring many of them. Take a listen to their reaction when Mariota was drafted. About 80 or so kids crammed into the back room of the Boys and Girls Club to watch the draft today. Some held cutouts of Mariota's head that they were certainly excited. Many of them know Mariota. The quarterback started volunteering here back in 2012. And staff use here told me he liked it so much that he came back almost weekly and got to know many of the kids pretty well. Here's what a couple of them had to say about their favorite quarterback. And what do you think about him? He is pretty cool because he got to the quarterbacks. And what do you think about him being drafted second and going to the Tennessee Titans? I think that's pretty cool. How come? I don't know because that doesn't happen to everyone. If you had a message for Marcus right now, what would you say to him? I would say good job and good luck. What might you, what might you say to him? I would say do your best, good luck. 
All right, I've told in my ear that Mariota just spoke after he was drafted. He said he's excited about being drafted by the Titans, and he leaves uh, tonight, I am told. In terms of the crowd here, they're certainly excited, and this group of kids will certainly be polling for him in Tennessee. Back to you. Well, they